Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Agents Open House Podcast. I'm here with three lovely guests and we'll start to my left. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people? Yeah, uh, my name is Dave Hutchinson. Uh, I work at Rare Real Estate, I'm a broker and I've been doing real estate, I've been doing real estate. <laughs> I've been Get selling it. real estate uh, since 2018. Nice, thanks. Nice. I'm Karina Eskandiri, I'm with Union Capital Realty and I've been doing real estate <laughs> <laughs> Get it, <girl. laughs> since I think 2013. Board of 2013 <laughs> to 2014. Putting us to shame. <laughs> the veteran. I'm the oldie. Uh, I am Susanna Fuda. I am with Forest Hill Witchwood, and I've been doing real estate <laughs> since 2018 as well. Nice. Uh, my name is Colin Afitu. Uh, I own Amazing Photo Video. We're a real estate photography and marketing company, and I'm also with Crane Realty as well. Uh, I got licensed 12 years ago. Uh, but I don't do it as that's well. OG. Okay, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, that's save some for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's why I think I do well with the marketing stuff because I know I've been around it forever and I don't really like to practice, but I will. I uh, found you. I, I, I found you on on what was that website? Peer space. Peer space. Peer space. I was like desperate. The yes, one that yes. I, and I and I was looking at studios and he had a like a studio available and like a, like an unbelievable rate, sick, and it was like proper. And I came for nothing, and he, this guy upsold me on everything. Now here we are. <laughs> Good I was sales like, marketing one on one. I was like, I'm just coming strictly for this. And he's like, We also do this, this, and this. And I was like, I'll take all those things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a realtor. I'll buy whatever, whatever you have selling. I'm taking it. Oh, yeah. that was like a year and a half ago, I think. A year ago now. Yeah. Um, okay. So the first thing I wanted to ask you guys was um, your first deal. I remember my first deal. It was uh, I was doing leases. I hated. It. I was like 18, so I didn't know anybody doing this and uh, I was doing the what the bait and switch like oh this this thing that doesn't exist is available call me and uh, I got so lucky still happens this yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah still happens <laughs> 12 years later um, but the wh what ended up happening was I had the client uh, I forget her name which is I guess bad oh you uh, remember the first you remember her name no no I'm not gonna say I remember it. mine but uh, so I was helping her show uh, I was showing her a bunch of uh, leases and I think she just didn't see what she wanted after like two showings and I was just like oh like uh, casually like oh like maybe you could buy and she's like uh, I never like thought of that and I'm like w do you have savings and she's like yeah I've got like 50,000 here I've got oh an RSP wow. I was like y you can buy um, and then uh, we just connected to her to the mortgage broker and just, it just fell flat on my lap like that and uh, same thing actually happened on my second deal this guy had a dog and nobody wanted the dog and uh, yeah. I just joked like, oh, you know, if mommy and daddy have some money, like you could just buy, and then you don't have to worry about this. And he's like, I'll call you back. Maybe and, you and should did. like practice real estate again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems to like come naturally. Yeah. It's because no. you're asking the right questions, right? People <laughs> don't think to ask the questions. Yeah, I, I think that's why, like, uh, why I like the idea of this, and I like trying to like pull stories out of people. Is like I, I just am super curious, and like I learn everything on YouTube, so I'm always asking questions, looking for mentors. Uh, and that sort of thing. But uh, so, what about you guys? What was your first deal? You want to start? Uh, my first sale deal was uh, one of my biggest ones still to date. And it was a uh, 1.7 something townhouse. I can't say his name because he's he's famous. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that was my that was my my first one. How did that happen? Uh, he knew a friend of a friend, and so he was like, "Hey, my." That's so King Street, yeah, yeah. though. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> we actually met only we, on King Street. Yeah, we met at a tip party. And there, we it just like, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just got along really well, and we were like having a good time. And I was like, I'm a realtor, by the way, man. And he's like, Oh, whatever. And then he ended up calling me, and he ended up having a mutual connection. But um, uh, I don't know how much I can say, but he is. He, that's the assignment. That's the oh, same guy. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Same guy. Uh -huh. So nice. he's like a repeat client since wow. then, which is awesome. And then my first lease deal is another repeat client of mine. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, he was uh, uh, a friend of mine. Doing a lease at a fashion house, which is like there the number one. <laughs> if you ever, if you know anything about King Street, it's fashion, fashion house, house condos. That yeah, the pool is a club. That pool, by the, the way. gift <laughs> that keeps on giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put everybody in, in the fashion house. No, <laughs> have you been there recently? It's, no, I haven't. It's uh, years I'm ago. not. I'm not cool enough to be at. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The Porsche, I haven't kept the Porsche the parking at the. Uh, yeah. It's I think 560 King. 560 King, Five yeah. Peter I'm Freak. so sad. You've seen the rooftop pool pictures up yeah. there. Yeah. Sick. Is, is, that the, is, is that the lofts or no? They're, uh, they're, they're, like, they're soft lofts, yeah. Yeah, you can Is, yeah, is that I northwest guess. corner, northeast corner of King and uh, Bathurst? Or? Where you lose uh, us. No, it's, it's, it's past just before, uh, just east of, of Brant. Just east of Brant. Okay, yeah. No, I haven't side. kept up too much, as you can see. North side. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, Peter Free building, super nice. It changed a lot during the pandemic because the pandemic lowered the prices yeah. a lot. Of, like, yeah, a but lot that's every building. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways, that's my my first two deals. I could talk forever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about you? 
my first deal so i remember i was still working for the builder on the pre-con side and the two guys i was going to join a team and i was so nervous to like give up a salary job and to join the team and they were like how much do you make a year and i said whatever stupid number that was at the time and they're like trust me you're gonna make more and Wait, then anyway stupid higher stupid low 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 <laughs> <laughs> um and then anyways so they got a they had a listing downtown on stadium you know the one right yeah, by the water yeah. mm. And they got a realtor.ca lead and they said, hey, go show it. I showed it. The guy bought it. And I wow. did my first deal within like the first week of Whoa. joining that thing. So it was such a nice wow. feeling because then when I left that position, I, it was like a good omen. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. And um, I like made as much money as I would yes. half a year working. Wait, so but you this was like 12 years ago, you said, right? No, it's oh, like 10 years ago. Oh, 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, this is the one thing that's like crazy now, because when I sell to people, it's like, I know we have this spiel, like, OK, yeah, we have expenses and all that stuff. But back then, uh, the average condo was w I remember seeing a condo for like 200,000, a bachelor yeah. um, at like uh, Navy Wharf and Mariner's Terrace. Yeah. And uh, like just looking back, that, that's insane. But yeah, no, the commissions now, like, do you remember, like, what that kind of commission size would have been? So that condo sold for at the time, which was a lot of money, it was like 780000 <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, that's wow. And at the time, that was, like, big. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. it was a water yeah. view, corner unit, two bedroom. Oh, 90 Stadium, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 90 Stadium. Yeah. So I was, I couldn't believe, like, it was that happening to me. That is a huge me. deal that long it was, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was a big deal for that time. Yeah. So I just, I remember calling them, and I was like, the guy wants to buy it. It's happening. Like, what do I do? I didn't even know what to do after like that point. Yeah. He's like, okay, you're going to do, you know, this, 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 go get the check, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it worked out great. I remember his name. Really? He told me about where to visit in France because he was French. Yeah, yeah. And Have you been? It. Did you go to France? No, I did not. Oh, no, that's right. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been to France. I didn't no. take his suggestions. Yeah, no. <laughs> Stadium Road is super fun. Um, I used to live in Tip Top Lofts uh, oh, right next cool. to it. And yeah. I remember there's one story... Uh, the guy from um, The Matrix, Morpheus, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, him oh, and I guess he was Keanu Reeves. No, no, no. He he was married to, or I think he still is married to the woman from Suits, uh, the partner. Um, I've never uh, seen either of those. Not you haven't seen The Marvel. Matrix. No. You haven't seen The Matrix. No. Yeah. I should. F I gotta watch. That's my yeah. night tonight. How yeah, could you yeah. not? How could you not have watched The Matrix? Would I, would I like it? Uh, no. It doesn't matter. You it just have to yeah, watch it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I don't think it matters. You just kind of... Have yeah, to. you just have to yeah. watch it. I think yeah. I've never seen Star Wars. I've never seen... I, could, I, I haven't could go watched that, all yeah. of them. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm a sci-fi nerd. So, yeah. like, for me, that I'm, like, so into that stuff. Really? Yeah. Who are you? I, I can, <laughs> I can speak, like, elvish. I was so obsessed with Lord of the Rings. Oh, I didn't even know what that was. No, no, Beyond... I had a six-foot Gandalf in my house. I had all the characters. I spoke Elvis like I was. Yeah, <laughs> do your I, kids like all this stuff too? They're too young. Uh, but I, but my, my little ones. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Her husband's wearing a Gandalf thing. He's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He is not into it. I remember it was like a prerequisite to getting married. I'm like, you must like Lord of the Rings because he hates sci-fi. <laughs> so he tried to watch it, but he fell asleep in like every 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, no. So I'm uh, like, forget it. Just yeah. no, like, Harry Potter or no? Yeah, I like Harry, okay, Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah but, Harry but Lord of the Rings is like no. more legit. I'm more like horror. Horror movie? Yeah, I love horror movies. No. Yeah. We are just Gore. like that. That's, 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 just, yeah, yeah. that's a different podcast. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> movies? No, anyways, um, Lawrence Fishburne, he, he was, uh, they lived in Toronto, him and his wife. And I remember, like, I love the Matrix movies. And I'm driving, I got my girlfriend in the car, my mom in the car. And I'm coming up, um, I'm going south uh, down stadium, and I'm about to pull out uh, into, into the parking. And I just see from the corner of my eye a purple Maserati, and it's like his. And uh, it's like an older one. Like, it, I just look, and I'm like, I literally reverse the car, and I go back, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's him." <laughs> and I fucking go. I was, it was just so awkward. And then he I, lived, I he lived there. Uh, he, the I think he lived in Stadium Road because I saw him another time, uh, like pushing his daughter uh, on the swing in the park. I was right like, That's "Oh yeah, yeah. what?" <laughs> pushing down the stairs. No, <laughs> beating his daughter. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, I remember seeing him there. I never like bothered him. I'm like super shy for the yeah. most part, but it was super cool to see that. Uh, yeah, that yeah. is really cool. But what about you? Which uh, so my deal? first deal was harder than yours uh <laughs> so i used to be on a team and um basically somebody called a sign it was a sign call and they were selling a bunch of properties all on one street so it was going to be like some sort of development deal or that's what the sellers were hoping for mm. um they couldn't end up selling it to one developer so all these kind of little guys ended up buying house by house there's like four or five houses for sale uh -huh. on the street and uh, so I got this call and I was like, oh my God, this is my time, I'm time to shine. <laughs> I was like freaking out. And uh, I went 
and I went to the TRCA. I went to what's that? Every the. Uh, <laughs> Should I know this? Can we put it on out? blast tape? <laughs> yeah, can we cut Guys, this part? Do you mean the town? No, the TRCA. Okay, we're not the only one? Oh, shit. Toronto. She's looking it up, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, yeah, to well, be well, fair. Well, <laughs> uh, you guys, the TRCA, hold on, let me Google it. Toronto <laughs> and Region <laughs> Conservation <laughs> Authority. Oh, okay, okay yeah, you yeah. could have said the Conservation oh. Authority. Yeah. Guys, it's the freaking TRCA. She was, she was, guys. <laughs> I, I, I take photos. Uh, you don't know that? Loser? You guys don't Ci- know that? City agent. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I went there. I went to the city even. I got all this information. I got there. And I was like, boom, 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 boom. And I was like just giving pure information. And this guy's like, wow, she really knows what she's talking about. I'm talking about setbacks. I'm oh, talking good about job. all this stuff. And I actually Leaps ended up. Bounds. I actually ended up. He was my buyer. Wow. That, that was my first deal. Really? And but no one was able to s- I don't know if that's Seven a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> no, to sell those lots, like to anyone. Did I did, did three deals on that street. Wow, really? And this because I knew what? everything. So now, like, whenever the leads came in for for any they of those houses, yeah. I got them because yeah. I had done all the legwork, um. and that's actually where I started my career on that shitty street. Yeah, <laughs> shitty awesome. street. Yeah, yeah. three okay. deals on a street. Yeah. No, but that kind of like uh, <laughs> shows in like how you do content too. It's like always information, information. Yes. Like you know your shit. Yeah. That's really good. I don't um, actually know anything. I just yeah. know how to read. Yeah. Yeah. Susanna's yeah. going to do a reel about the TRCA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, w- I want to see that tomorrow. <laughs> um. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys who, I can't believe you asked me what the TRCA I did not expect <laughs> someone to ask me. And then I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We recovered. Jesus. It was really good. That's one of the, my favorites. So <laughs> um, <laughs> obviously. I did remember the second question I wanted to ask you. Um, <laughs> and it was like. Who did you the dirtiest, or what was the thing like the worst yeah. thing that's happened to you? Um, I remember when I, I, I must have been like, like 20 or 21, <laughs> and uh, this guy like I was like I was still fresh, I was still desperate. Like this is why I went into other things. Like I, I just wasn't <laughs> comfortable, like not knowing where it was coming from. I'm like 21, baby face, just this it's guy, terrible. If I <laughs> they have a dollar for every time he says baby face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now I have the beard. Yeah. Well, uh, whatever I can grow. <laughs> yeah. This is two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so uh, there was this guy, I forget how I got a hold of him, but I was showing him properties and we were looking in the village and um, I remember his name, but uh, I'm not going to say it. This guy, I showed him, it w- I'm, so, I'm so stupid and, y- and you'll you laugh. <laughs> he wouldn't give me his phone number. And so we were communicating only in email and uh, it was like a throwaway like Gmail account. I feel like back then, and I'm I, not surprised by yeah. that. No? Okay, it makes no. me feel a little better. No, I must have showed him for over a month. I showed him at least 20, 25 condos. And one day, ghost. Three months later, curious, land registry, the Stop last condo it. I showed him. <gasps> the last condo I showed him, where he ghosts, he put it off with somebody else, I don't know if it was a friend or what. The listing? And oh, yeah. No, not even, that, uh, that I would have kind of understood, like if you think you're gonna get a deal, like there's always those people. But no, like totally different agent, no, no one to do with the listing agent. Um, no, it was, it was brutal, I was like, I was so crushed. Because again, like, yeah, it was like a four hundred thousand dollar thing, but I'm twenty one. That's like ten years. Yeah. Well, it's and a month of your time, and yeah. you worked yeah. hard. Like, yeah. that's yeah. a terrible it's, feeling. It's so bad. Yeah. But that's and why you know, th- I feel like something like that happens to you because that's happened to me. Yeah. You get that buyer's agency signed like really yeah. hard the next time. Like, it's yeah. not like a question. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. You contrast with like when I was like fed up, I would like have ads, and I'm like, I'm not showing you anything until I sign this. Like, why do you need all this information? I'm, I'm just not even. Don't I've even worry I've about been it. I don't burned. care. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I've I don't been know. Burned. So I've been there. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah. So that, so that was brutal uh, for me. At, like on a scale of one to ten. Like you should be like, oh yeah, that happened to me. Has like worse stuff happened to you guys? Oh, that. But that happens to yeah, everybody. That happens to everyone. Like, that happened yeah. to me I'm last month. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That <laughs> happens. Yeah. That still happens to me yeah. today. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm gonna keep it classy. I'm not gonna name names. You no, know name who you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Same here. I'm not in my other camera. You really? know who you are. Oh, wow. Well, it's worse if you know the person. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm holding just, back just, right just now. Like yeah, I'm holding. I'm holding, holding back too. Back right really? now. It's yeah. worse when you know them. My and guy was, mine was my. I had a not similar ish. He'll probably watch this. You know <laughs> who he is. He's yeah. a, the same thing. But it was. Uh, I live downtown Toronto. So we were show. I was showing him like. Do you uh, live King, on King West? I love King West, oh. near Fashion House. Wow. If you guys know the best pool in the city. Wow. Uh, I need to get out of King West. <laughs> uh, yeah, for yeah, this guy, no, I showed him like Cambridge, Kitchener, Guelph, like Oof. far from me, you know? Like, that's like the college is far from me, you know? Yeah. And uh, and then, yeah, like for over like six months, and then he got his real estate license. And I was like, <gasps> about a mile. Yeah, Nasty. you know who you are. Nasty. <laughs> yeah. That's killer. 
that's yeah. killer. Uh, yeah. what, what, what about you? What, what is the worst you can sell? Or like, can, Ooh, can we get a little bit of this worst one? Like, like no, just the classic. Yeah, it's just simil- similar similar circumstance, but yeah. like people who know you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you. Who it's ex- at least that guy you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's that happens much all time. worse when you know the person because you have trust that you don't need to s- do that buyer agency because you're yes. like yeah like they're not gonna screw yeah, me true. they're not gonna no. do that and then boom you get screwed. That's that's actually that's for any young new agents. Yeah. It doesn't matter, matter who they are. Does it? it Use that as your excuse to get it signed. Oh, this yeah. is just my paperwork for my yeah, office yeah, yeah. stating that we're going to work together. Of course you're going to work together. Do you yeah. like? Do you, you know each other. Would you now, like after all that stuff's happened to all of us, kind of, but fr- friends and everything, would you rather, do you prefer working with non-friends than friends? Yes. Me too. All day. Really? All day. Yep. I still prefer working with friends, like normal friends. Well, anyone who <laughs> I've worked with, I've friends or family, thankfully Everybody they've been really good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. do prefer to work with friends because I find most of them are like they're reasonable yeah, people yeah. that I surround myself with. So uh-huh. it's, you know, good. And you can be a bit more candid, I'm I guess. I'm the opposite. Oh, Angel you're more, you, generous, you soft yeah. stuff. I'm like, I'm like, stop being an idiot. This is good. I'm the you know, opposite. I can be more honest. Versus, uh, but I, I mean, the strangers are fine too, but yeah. I feel like there's <laughs> risk. There's risk with strangers. You don't know. True. Like they can like yeah. recall you for no reason because they just true. flip on something. Bad day, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? True. I get that. Yeah. Well, I just have a hard time. Soft on your I'm soft with yeah. my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you? It's not that I don't like working with my friends. I love working with my friends. I just am able to tell strangers how it is more. Friends, mm-hmm. I'm always like. No, I, I hey. say it how it is for both. I just mm-hmm. feel like in terms of like a full experience, I almost feel like, um, I don't know, maybe it's very dorky actually. I just feel like it's the process of actually getting to know someone new that you didn't know and like get to know more about their life yeah, and yeah, what yeah. they need. Yeah. I find it kind of interesting That's yeah. fun. in that yeah. a friend like, yes, you'll get to know them in a different way because you're dealing with such a personal yeah. transaction. Yeah. But with a stranger, it's like, oh, how interesting. And you really get to know. I'm sure you guys agree. You get to know that person yeah. so For well, sure. probably, you know, you're better than people day. in their in their life yeah. know them. Yeah. So I find it kind of interesting. I think if you're outgoing, that's cool. Like, like, and again, this used to stress me so much, and so now, baby like, I won't. Cool. Yeah, baby, baby face, cool. Baby face. <laughs> Back when I was a baby face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but even like I- even to this day, like like people will call, and I've been putting off like putting up a listing for like two weeks right now. Um, Bruh, you need to co-list it open. with someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my mom. My mom is usually who I do that with. Uh, but my no, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mommy, can you list my condo? <laughs> Mommy, it's me, baby face. Someone <laughs> wants to list their house. I hate you. I regret this so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know. It's like I, I just, I hated like being forced to like escort this person around for like four hours in a row. Who I like, I guess, especially Jesus, like you're 21, 22. You yeah. No, but like you're like 21, 22, and that you're looking like hanging out with a 40 year old who's like they were yeah. always rude yeah. to me. They were always like challenging me. It was yeah. always like it just. But felt that's why. Really that's crappy. why I went to the TRCA. <laughs> and the city, yeah, because I knew they were. Uh, this guy was an older guy. I had to know your Ask me questions. Yeah. I didn't want to. I, I would have lost the sale. True. If yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Also, like on that, I think what's the a wetland? Yeah. What yeah. Is it? Like, you know, I don't know yeah. what a setback is, so I had to Google that one. But I'm joking. I'm oh. joking. I'm joking. Setback. <laughs> a setback. Set, set. The one word. Is it two words or one word? Does that do the that do the T R C W? What were you gonna say? <laughs> no, I feel like as you get more experience and you get like in the uh, longer in the industry, you can you can choose to not work with those people. Yes. So yeah. now yeah. if I have someone that's a dick, I just don't work with them because yeah. I'm able to say yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm good. Not comfortable. Or I'll no. refer you to someone that maybe you're gonna get along with better personally because it's not, uh, not no hard feelings. It's yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. You might j- uh, you know mesh better with someone else on my team. So here. You know what? A better judge of character as well. Yes. Big time. You know what I found hard. Um, which is different now, like having to like drive people to showings, like in your yeah, car. I, I was very, ask, rarely, very rarely, very rarely, very, very rarely, really? very rarely do that. Most of the time it's because I'm going from A to B to C. So like I can't like take you back to right. point A. Right. Yeah. So mm. like I'll be honest about it and also have like two car seats in my car. So either a solo person coming with that's me. A and good ex- that's a good thing. But it's, it's true. I excuse, can't take yeah. them out. Is, that's it. And I remember um, it was like my first year starting and I was so excited because I got a buyer. Yeah. Like my team sold a house and they're like, you'll get the buyer for it. I'm like, wicked. And so I had to take this guy out. He was looking in the West End. Yeah. I lived ba- like wet, more West. Okay. Like Bayview Shepherd at the time. And he was looking like West. Mm. I had to drive. To, he had a car. I had to drive to pick him up from East Scarborough. Ooh. To drive all the way 
Wes, but how did that come up? What did he say? He just thought it was like part expected. Yeah. He just okay. thought it was part of it. Yeah. Fine, which is which is fine, but it was just so inconvenient. Like I couldn't, I can't express how inconvenient. No, I, yeah. I can imagine. It that. was, yeah. and um, y- I didn't have kids then, so it's not a big deal. Like I had free time, but like there's just no way I could accommodate potentially like that. Yeah. Do you know because it was drove? all the time? No. Hmm. Like he didn't drive or no? He had a car. Hmm. He had a car. He just always wanted to be picked up. Yeah. And it, I would I would remember passing my house from the oh, highway, having to me. go back, and I was like, oh. <laughs> that would drive me nuts. This yeah. on the podcast. Oh, <laughs> like, no. okay, wait. I, I <laughs> We're gonna. You can't yeah, publish you this. Do yeah, don't comments, publish right? that. I the whole podcast. So you have to, right? Because <laughs> don't most of these people not even drive? Like so they're all talking about walking. And for me, I drive them because I I know all the sh- the secret parking Park. spots downtown. Yeah. And if I if I go, I'll always say I'll bring I know, you back Dave, to your car. But you're picking everyone up. On kit, you're leaving your kit right there <laughs> no, it's true. to go to the next kit. Right Listen, my, my radius is like one yeah, kilometer. Yeah, exactly. So like, it's like I'm just going here to here to here to here to here. Yeah. But like, uh, for me, if, I, if they both, if they say I'm gonna drive, I say no, come in my car because, I'll, if, like, exa- for example, um, uh, 295 Adelaide Street. There's yeah. like, I just know I park super illegally here. I've never gotten a ticket, but I know that if I go there, I'll be waiting 30 minutes in the lobby for my client to go down. They have to and go I'm park. Like, just no, come with me. Yeah. I'll drive you back. So different. Yeah. I'm also a dude. I think it's different. Are you a big club guy? Not anymore. Really? No, oh, clubs no, but never. you were at one point. Never clubs, but I liked going out. I had a buddy like uh, no, I, I didn't go to buddy. Rebel. Yeah, no, but I'm at Mar- yeah. Marble a lot. Oh, Marble a lot. Out. Okay, yeah, you got your thing. I don't wait in line. That's no, but they're, they're they're <laughs> they they know me there. <laughs> they know me there. Yeah, no, but there are these the club guys or King Street people like you, they, you just park like King you Street see two hundred thousand dollar cars all parked like terribly illegally and yeah. I, I used to drive like a, a little Ford Fusion I still have it and I just oh I'm gonna get a ticket I'm gonna get a ticket and meanwhile like like no fucks given oh, yeah. cars. I like, park illegally every time I show downtown yeah. I've I never unless it's very often. obvious and clear street parking where I can park legit yeah. Yeah. I will always park illegally I'll usually sure. just go on a side street <laughs> yeah, and yeah. yeah. this is in. my this is my logic and I think it's airtight I so <laughs> oh this sounds Ooh. so juicy until like tomorrow so no yeah. no this okay. is my logic if I have to show five places downtown yep. and each time I had to park legit, yeah. I'm paying five bucks, 10 bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks. I'm better off taking that risk of getting a one ticket maybe yeah. for 40 bucks. And at least the convenience, like I'll pay for convenience. So that convenience of being right at the door is right there. I agree. So if I get a ticket one time out of those times, it's worth it. Okay. Have you ever gotten two tickets in one day? No. Uh, oh. I got two dri- like driving tickets in one day. <laughs> two <laughs> speeding tickets in one day. Oh, you got that day. nice, fast, fancy and car. And I, I think the guy saw that I had just got one and I was like fuck he's like here you go <laughs> she didn't learn her lesson <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are they, like, you know, did he you take it easy the second guy no <laughs> obviously not I didn't learn my lesson from 40 <laughs> minutes ago <laughs> no I was like yeah, well I'm not due tough. for another six months Ooh, that was tough that <laughs> was a bad day that's for me bad. Yeah. Oh, that's bad I got a red light camera recently Really? Oh, Where? I got one like uh, three months ago. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Avenue you, Road. How do you? Pay, you got to pay it by a certain. I haven't paid yeah, it. Yeah, it was eighty bucks. No. What? No, mine was like three something. Oh. Red oh, light, sorry. I had a speed. Oh. Yeah. I had a yeah. speed camera. Yeah. Red sorry. light would be more. I would yeah, imagine. it was three something, and it was Need just like me, speed. just me. <laughs> just, <laughs> Your face. Just texting. Oh, you, do you have the photo? <laughs> me texting, like this, looking up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> they send you the photo of you, right? Like, yeah. Like we got you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. You got it. If you have that. <laughs> yeah. I was just blatantly. I was like so red too. Like it was. And I remember. I remember it being like, I'm going for it. I, I, we want that photo. That's gonna go right here. Right yeah, yeah, oh yeah. 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 Seriously. <laughs> I only got a speeding ticket once and yeah. i um i f- i'm tr- i've tried to fight it but it's been like two years and i haven't like it was during covid you're yeah. still so fighting it no no, no they never said no one's gotten back to me so i'm just like hoping it disappeared yeah, into maybe s- that space. happened to me uh, in the work check, truck though yeah, yeah me too but I've, I've lost they've lost one of mine too in the in the work truck i was uh, coming down uh lakeshore here to the studio and for some reason i don't know this What's guy the work truck uh, yeah, I have like I seen the work truck? The Ford F one fifty. Yeah, I have the little okay. Fusion as well. But anyways, I, I'm in it, and I what I noticed, cops seem to be way nicer when you're in a company vehicle. Like I've really? been let yeah. off from texting. I've been let off from. I, uh, well, I didn't <laughs> get let off here, but this guy he, he was like jaywalking, uh, and, and he seemed sketchy. But he had the right of way, and that's what messed with me. Like he looked shifty <laughs> as he ran, <laughs> and then I was like, oh okay, I guess I can go. And then I looked, and I'm like, oh wait, no, it's red light. And the cops like right behind me. I'm like I don't know. Br- he was so mean. Um, 
I don't know where I was going with that. Um, Mommy, baby face got a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also think. Oh, I never, I never heard back. Uh, yeah. I never, I never got it in the mail. Nothing. That's I, I don't super know. weird. I know, but I'm, I'm very paranoid like that. Like I, I'll follow up. No. Yeah. Hi, I'm <laughs> just waiting for <laughs> my ticket. Hey, just, just a this reminder. Was, this was the, <laughs> the one that I it was issued number nine <laughs> one. Yeah. I don't know if you guys forgot to send it, but I'm just. You can reissue. <laughs> she was that girl in the classes. Like, oh, you forgot <laughs> to look at my homework. <laughs> <laughs> reissue it. I'm hoping it's lost. Probably some interest there. at this point. I owe yeah. you guys of something. <laughs> I don't know. Let yeah. me know. I should know. And my visa number is. <laughs> <laughs> the only other time was I was beside a cop and I was full out texting. Okay. Oh, yeah. And he was staring, giving me the dirtiest look. And it was summer. So my windows were down. The music's blasting and I'm texting. And I like just casually <laughs> I did that dropped too. my phone. And then I looked and he's like, he gave, he's like, you know, that's a really like we were at a red light, though. Uh, right. So he's like. Yeah, and he's like, you know that tickets, whatever, whatever. He told me not to do it. And then, but I was blasting a very obscure song, <laughs> okay? Oh, no. And what then song? he, um, it's, it's a, it's a African song. Oh, my God. Um, Chub, Chub, oh, shoot. Anyways, I don't remember. <laughs> but also, cool it's a, it's, he's like very famous in Africa. Okay. And, um, the cop knew the song. Oh, uh, my God. So all of a sudden, he's like, by the way, like, great tune <laughs> and so like i think he let me off because he thought i was so cool because i knew a weird oh, yeah, song that, that's what it was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she pulls off <laughs> no who was it that's i'll send so you guys cool. the song like later rips it yeah. higher, picks up her phone again <laughs> no but that exact thing happened to me i yeah. had my windows down in the summer oh pulled up cop he <laughs> looks at me and he's like <laughs> and then i have it in my phone uh, in my phone i have it in my hand and i just go <laughs> to the passenger seat <laughs> and he goes every time you see the cop just throw it <laughs> and then that was it that was the whole exchange <laughs> yeah oh, it was when they just like made that a law is it rap music oh, no no yeah. I, i'll find it's called target be, right? you it's only 10 years old <clears throat> probably most so, famous yeah. no it's not most famous it's just i'm just trying to google the most famous african rap no it's not african rap you said oh, to baba to baba oh obviously i you know have no idea what it is. <laughs> oh <laughs> it's like oh. to baba so is that everybody's tickets stories? That's it. Uh, no, no, but uh, yeah. that's all we're going to say I, on here. You're I've feisty yeah. on the road. That's what I'm going to say. I, wait, okay. If, I gotta, tell I, me you can top this. Uh, I don't want people to judge me. Go. <laughs> I don't want to say <laughs> mine. That's uh, just bad news. We'll, we'll call this baby face gold because you made a lot of mistakes. Um, no, I got this motorcycle. I started out with like a 125R. It's like a Honda. It's like a moped, but it looks like a oh, motorcycle. Cool. I quickly got bored of that. And I bought this 500cc Suzuki GS500. Uh, from this crazy dude, he has scars all up and down his arms. He was telling me about the days like he would ride he no fell motorcycle, off his bike off. <laughs> no helmet. He would stand on the tank. He would like oh, do like fine. wild shit like that, and uh, it made me feel less bad about this after. But I bought it, and I didn't have insurance, and I never signed it Ooh. over, and I said I would never speed, and I'm going 83 on Bloor Street as I'm moving to Lakeshore, and I've, I've got my buddy on the back, and so I'm I'm speeding. I said I would never do it, and literally. I lived at 2855 Bloor Street West, which is like the, the Kingsway kind of area. And there's a cop always there. I don't know what it was. And it just, the bike is so fast. You get so, uh, like I've never had anything that fast before. And I ripped <laughs> it and then the guy comes out and I'm like, oh, should I do it? And I didn't, like I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Over. Yeah, I pulled over. Yeah, most bikes won't. No. Like, the oh, really? You. Yeah, because no, they're go. not going to catch they you. Chase they you. Like oh, my God. They won't I would chase pull you? right no. over. Take most me. bikes can go like 200 kilometers an hour. They don't want you to like, kill oh, yourself. Wow. They'll, like, yeah, they won't they'll check you. the plates oh. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't but know they'll, that. they'll check your plate. Yeah, but my, yeah. my buddy had like, a button. Yeah, you can do that. Or some guys that are like, they'll just pull their plate. Like, if you'll see, they should be out like this. It's called a Fender Eliminator Kit. And most of the guys have their thing like that. And I knew one guy, he just had no plate. And I remember I, he actually, he was stealing gas. Like this guy, like oh, that's crazy. That's so on bad. site, cop run. Like uh, it's wow. insane. But I wasn't that guy. I had a motorcycle. Yeah. I did. I had a Harley. I can never. You had a Harley? Oh, yeah. I'm picturing you all like a moped. No, I'm no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <King> <laughs> Bright candy red moped. Yeah, yeah, no. I didn't like it. It's too no. scary, man. Yeah. So it is scary. scary. It's so scary. It is scary. You'd have like yeah. girls on the back and, and like you'd be, you'd, their seat was like this big. And I was like, looking at like, that can't be good. No, I'm not getting on the back of that. No, chair no. with you no no, yeah. no, no chance no. it was not <laughs> i i knew a, uh, like a young guy that died when i was young from a motorcycle so i was like i'm just yeah. so not into it that yeah. like i'm not i don't think like it's cool it's not yeah. it's not sorry dangerous. no offense but if i see a guy doing it i'm not like i don't think no, you're cool i didn't really yeah. care about life at the the time of course, very much. you're 21 but 22. when i uh I, f I fell off the bike one time and i like woke up with, like under a car um, oh my god see yeah. it's just not worth <laughs> it yeah. yeah and that was like i got lucky like it was uh coming down uh -huh. bathurst the the rain 
um, there was like oil on the streetcar track and I went to like turn and as soon as I touched the streetcar track well, for whatever reason yeah. slip and slide right off I came to like underneath it and uh, like uh, like wiggled my head out but if that car wasn't there I probably would have slid for like 30 more feet or I would have wow. slid right into a curb and like broken something yeah. so I like cushioned the fall um, and then so funny I still didn't have insurance at the time and uh, Dude, got to be like trouble, insurance. Eh? Yeah. yeah I got rid I of it after that I'm gonna slip and fall after this <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have yeah, insurance yeah. now <laughs> Just bankruptcy. Like <laughs> so APV is mine now. No wonder he wa- hey, no wonder he walks all of us in and out of here. <laughs> Have you noticed? Yeah. Your hands. Get hey up. guys, yeah. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you slip fall and now you're the new owner of APV. Yeah, Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, did you re- remember the third question I was going to ask you guys? I th- I thought you didn't remember the third question. Yeah, you oh, that was I didn't remember question, the. Uh, yeah, I didn't remember the uh, the worst story or whoever did you the dirtiest. Um, I don't think either of us said that story though. Yeah, no. you, 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 you. No, I won't. I won't. I can't say mine either. Do you have a runner-up? You could say. <laughs> no, I just. It's all. It's all. It's the same as you, right? Like yeah. it's all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. it's again. That's so common. Any yeah. young agents get your buyer rep signed. Okay, well, whether it is your best friend, your partner. Can they just, just cancel get that? Sign. Can you just cancel a buyer rep? Like what? Yeah, but then if they go, like if it happens, at least you can fight for your permission. Yeah, if they turn around and went through the listing agent. Would any of you sue? Depending I know some what it was. Yeah, yeah, depending on what it was. Yeah. yeah. I guess if uh, like if they did what they did to me, then maybe you sue. But uh, I think what most people will just let go is like, okay, if Depends they didn't the see the yeah. person, they uh, if they didn't see the property they wanted, and then they stopped, and then they wanted to go with someone else, and like, okay, maybe that's then you different. Sue but if it happened to like the way it happened to you, I'd be yeah. I'd be really yeah. pissed. Yeah. 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 That was brutal. That's um, it, we don't work for free. No. A no, lot of I'm the time, not a tour we guide. I'm not a tour free, guide on my Saturday Sundays. Yeah, like, yeah. that's not what I do. I, yeah. I think a lot of people don't understand this. Like, they'll look at realtors and be like, "Oh, they make so much money." And it, it's just like basketball. There's a few people because they're the best. They yeah. get paid to do what they do, and everybody else doesn't make anything. It yeah. doesn't mean that everybody is, or like you should feel bad if you're like you're the best. But it's nobody wants to work with you until you get to a certain stature, and then everybody wants to work with you. Yeah. So you like do your time. It's a risk, like any other business. And it takes a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's it feast does. or famine. It takes time. Yeah, it takes a long time. How have things changed over the last 10 years? In, in you know what to me is the biggest change? And like a lot of the new agents just have no concept of this was going in person to present yeah. at offer night. Oh, that's yes. like an art form. Like mm-hmm. I used to drive with my buyer in the car parked in front of the house yeah. with 10 other cars yep. parked in front. And it was my, tr- the agent would call me, okay, your turn to walk in. And I would walk in and I'd walk back out and it was all in person. That was way and better. so forget, forget and it was bringing way better. a buyer when you had a listing and you oh, knew yeah. those cars were out there. Oh, someone yeah. walks in and you're I would like, just park. And I remember I'd be standing there with my folder when I had on. the listing. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I remember I used to sit there. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> exactly. Godfather. Yeah, Uh, that that was way better. Yeah, of course. It was all in person. And funny enough, last year when the market was crazy, I had clients looking to buy in a specific pocket. Anyways, this house shows up. The agent listing it is super old school. There was offer night, obviously, because everything had one. But she had offers presented at her office in person. Mm. There was seven offers. I was the only agent that showed up in person. They were scared for sure. And I got the deal because I was there. So her clients who were also old school and her, they were just inclined to help me. Yeah. Right. So they because when you show up, it makes the yeah, biggest they, difference. You yeah. can read stuff. You can like deliver your clients information in a better. You package. guys also do the deal right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's the best part Process about this. Out, it's like, okay, it's done. one second. Yeah. Yeah. No, let problem. me get a change for you. Yeah. It's not it's like it's I'm going to dock you sign. Yes. Ten hour thing. OK, everybody come back do this. It's like once you did that, it was done for the night. And yeah. And not even for sleep. offer nights. I remember like even if you weren't competing, we would go in person. I would call and say, hey, I have an offer for you. Can we come to the house today yeah. at six? And the listing agent would bring their client. You would bring your buyer. And that's how the deal was done. It was all done in person. I would way rather that. I would love that. It was great. And sometimes if your client wasn't there, I'd have to drive to their house, get the initial uh, or like, oh, sorry, my wife's at work. Can you go there? And I'd go to the wife's like it was in all of this happened within like that few hour window. When I was taught, when I was taught, because again, I was on a team, so I was taught everything. When I was taught about offer nights, I was taught about what to do in person in front of people Mm -hmm. on offer nights. Like that's, and that was only like how to carry yourself, six years like ago. Yeah. What the moves were cool. yeah. That was on the way out This me. is what you say to each yeah. one of them. You send them back. You bring them in one yeah. by one. See if they'll improve. You send them back. Yeah. And yeah, it was, yeah. It was crazy. 
Dave would just be bringing everybody the, by the pool. Yeah, yeah <laughs> come up to the Fashion House condos <laughs> at 9.30 Offers p.m. Offers being presented, <laughs> infinity pool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring bathing suit, 11 <laughs> p.m. You will be judged. <laughs> to late. Shoes right. left at the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's, I think, the biggest change is I feel like yeah. everyone just, oh, no, I mean, honestly, nobody does that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just find, like, everything's so easy now. There's just, like, a level of, not laziness in the new generation, but, like, I was telling my team today, we had a team meeting, and I was, whatever, let's say we have leads for sellers. I would drive to the person's house, even if it was not someone I got a hold of, drop off a CMA and package. And I was same. Yeah. And I was and like, it wasn't just a call or a text or an email. And I remember there was this lady I showed I showed her she was a realtor.ca lead. My team said, go show her. I showed her. She didn't want to give me any information. I just knew she was like going to sell to downsize. I fucking looked her up on land registry found her house drove there dropped off a package she called me and said you're so ballsy and i got the listing nice. and then from her yeah. she bought her do- like yeah, it yeah, would yeah. just became a wow. big you know what i mean and if you don't like i was telling them today i'm like you that could be your one hour of prospecting just yeah, drive around and go do that right yeah. knock on their door don't be afraid to knock on their door yeah right you yeah. do like so we call i call it like an hour of power yeah so we like one hour of prospecting a day you guys, you just said that you kind of mentioned yeah. that. Same how, thing. how do you normally do that? Because I know like you're all super active on social media and everything, but like, do you have old school prospecting methods too? Yeah, I, d- I door knocked my li- my list neighbor- you have neighborhood. To. Yeah, yeah, and you it was have fucking to. my door knocked King Street, just uh, down the hallway. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> God, oh, be I bet you you'd get so much business like that. You get chased out of buildings though. If they see you on the yeah, camera. You're not allowed. Yeah, you're oh, yeah. yeah, I did that with fly. When you, I like sold all the door hangers. Yeah, and I went in and I was like literally outrunning the security guard because he would look at the cameras and I'd go to the next floor and then like I'd go two floors down and miss a floor. Yeah. Next content shoot, we're seeing who can last the yeah. longest <laughs> while giving out door hangers. Yeah, I'll yeah, just yeah. Like Pac-Man. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He was like looking around the, the third floor. I'm on the second <laughs> floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah I, oh, it's, I, yeah. I do all that stuff too. Our yeah, only job to. is prospecting. Yeah. yeah. That's your job, right? Yeah. Prospect, prospect, build your pipeline and yeah. then follow, push it through. Yeah. So right? you you don't get scared to door knock like. I no, know, I obviously, you're the one that scares most people, but... No, I'm, <laughs> I'm like a big teddy bear. I love... Yeah. I just like talking to people. I can talk to anybody, like, honestly. I can talk to anybody about anything, and yeah. I just come on... I just, like, I get their guard down, like, right away, and I'd be, like, goofy, you know? Yeah. I, think, I know I'm intimidating, especially in the summer if I have, like, my tattoos showing or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah, yeah. de-escalate right <laughs> away. Yeah, I'm just, like, a goofy, dumb Hello. comment, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something stupid. Hello. We're <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I think if you don't yeah. know you, like you can be like that, and then when I met you, like, I was like, oh wow, it looks so sweet. And I yeah, think, no, I'm I think the I'm fact that you are intimidating, like uh, on first glance, like you seem even sweeter because like you're contrasting yeah, yeah. with that image. But yeah. I just play it up. I play like the I play the big goofy dude, and I just work for my advantage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I'm not as good door knocking. I feel like mm. I kind of get a little bit awkward. I prefer over the phone. Yeah, mm. I always feel a little bit invasive. That's why. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like that's, that's the only thing for me. Uh, I feel like when someone opens the door, like they're looking at you and they're like, "What the fuck?" This one girl yeah, answered the door. door. Yeah, she had a sandwich, and I was like, "That looks amazing." <laughs> and she was like, uh, "Who are you?" And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." Uh, and she's like, "Actually, oh, I have okay. a story." So once it was the dead of summer, okay, and I am door knocking with a team member, and we're going, and it's literally like 40 degrees outside. Okay, we're in like our work clothes. I used to dress like very business casual. Oh, blazer, like, not, pictures? not hoodie. Yeah. You have pictures of so, this? No, no, I refuse. <sighs> I refuse. So we're going and we knock on this woman's door. She opens and she sees us. I am full on. <laughs> my, like I have sweat coming down my face. Okay. The guy beside me has pit stains. Like they're showing and we're like, hello, would you like to sell your house? She's like, can I get you both a bottle of water? <laughs> Please. Like we looked like in pain yeah. and uh, we did take the water. I was going to pass out that day. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to door. If you're going to door knock, you got to go with value. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, you door knocking there. Hey, I have a listing. So it makes sense why you're, you know, door knocking it. You're like circle prospecting from yeah. wherever you just sold or yeah, where you exactly. just listed. So you're giving value to them. You're not as invasive, right? Like, hey, do you know that your neighbor's house just sold for X, Y, Z? We actually have a lot of clients still looking to get into the area. Were you into blah, blah? I do that with calls though. Like for example, I just sold a listing in uh, Vaughn. Uh, I did a just listed flyer. Um, now I'm doing a just sold flyer. And then a day after the just solds go out or a day or two, that's when I'm going to do all my cold calls. So now you've seen me when I sent you just How listed. How do you get their numbers? On uh, telelisting. I don't know what that is. For those of you who don't know, telelisting is a wow, service that... Wow, uh, everyone should have telelisting. You have that too? 
Uh, no, I used to do, I, at the time, I had something called Mojo Dialer. Mojo dialer. So I Mojo remember. pulls people's numbers, and then, like, I used to old school do reverse 411. Oh, yeah. But most, I find most people now don't have house lines. That's what my mom says, yeah. Mom so m- most people don't but have house lines. I don't think lines. it only goes to house lines, though. Some people have, no? Some people have their cell attached to their property. I don't I know. Think my so. I'm not 100% You just call like, sure. straight up random houses? Well, no. For example, it, you, you can call do, that street. You You'll pull the street. cold calling proper, where it is cold. But then now what I've done with my listing is I've sent you a flyer. Right. Just listed. Two weeks later, I've sent you a just sold flyer. Right. And now three or four days later, I'm calling you. I'm the girl that just sent you two flyers and you live in that immediate area. You saw my sign. So, yeah. So I want to talk to you. Right. And you probably want to talk to me because if you're not on Realtor.ca all the time, you're like, oh, what did it sell for? Right. Yeah. So just that warms it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back and door knock that. I might just pick ring one. For you sure. went on the <laughs> coldest oh, day my, ever. I You're thought crazy. You meant my no, street. It no. was it was way too cold. I, I, I just thought because my jaw was so yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. it was painful outside. Yeah. 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 That was a bad yeah. idea. But uh, my yeah. team was like, I had I not that it's par- far from my team. So my team was like, I don't really wanna. And I was like, you know what? I'll I also live downtown. This is gonna suck for me, but I'll do it. And so yeah. lead by example. Yeah. No, good. Nice. I think that that was the right thing to do. Easier in the summer. Easier if like you have a farm. No, not summer. Summer. Yeah. Not summer, summer, spring. But like, if I door knock my farm, it makes more sense because like I've done events there. They see my flyer every twice a month, yeah. right? So they know yeah. my face. I'm in the Facebook group chats. Yep. So there's a bit more familiarity. Familiar, yeah. familiarity. Nailed it. Nailed it the first time. But okay, so I think we, you and I, have a hard cut off at three. It's already three thirty-three. Um, Do you want to add anything go, else? One more thing. Um, I was gonna say, let everybody know like where they could reach you, where they can see your stuff. Um, and uh, can't wait to have you guys on again. Um, Thank you. Do you want to start? Yeah, uh, Instagram is well. Everything is at the Dave Hutch. Yeah, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube at the Dave Hutch. You know how you were saying t- TikTok people are mean to you. Mm-hmm. So you know I don't really go on TikTok at all, but I just try to just post whatever I did. So I posted my I did like a bloopers reel, which is clearly. You didn't even add us a TikTok, eh? I don't even know how to add someone. Oh, I do right so now. Thank you. So <laughs> it clearly says a bloopers reel, and I'm obviously making fun of myself. Yeah. Like I've clearly messed yeah. up. Someone commented writing. Folks, this is why you stay in school. <laughs> oh, like, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> <But> like, <laughs> I'm already uh, making fun of myself. People are ruthless on there. They're that. ruthless on there. Uh, but yeah. I thought that was kind of funny. No, but TikTok is nasty. Anyway, yeah. give your handle, sorry. Yeah, what's oh. your handle? What's your TikTok handle? Karina Eskandari. Everything's Karina Eskandari. Karina Eskandari, Karina Eskandari. Yeah. Uh, mine is Susanna Fuda. But Susanna with an A, not an E. I have a cousin. And uh, sometimes people add her. <laughs> maybe you we'll, we'll uh, put it up right, yeah, here. right here she has a <laughs> yellow background yeah 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 yes wow yeah, thank you i do remember you from the background yeah. um, you have a blue background i have a blue one do i have a background oh my What's god my now i feel so <laughs> bad she's not like it's about our backgrounds you have a i don't i don't think i have a background just a i don't think you mine's have a color no, mine's just a, i just cropped like my four sales <laughs> <laughs> did you <laughs> well, i gotta see this now yeah, I mean, my stuff, uh, Cole Neofito on Instagram, all my stuff is jumbled, but uh, amazing underscore PV is the media company, and thank you guys for watching. I have so many more like questions and stories that I got to ask you guys, but uh, I think we kind of, an hour was good, but I'm sure we'll be hopefully back. again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we will. <laughs> Cole, okay. Cole is the Don, the guy. But babyface the Don. Ba- <laughs> babyface Hello, Don. I'm babyface the Don. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, man. Thanks. Yeah.